What is up everyone? Today we're making salt and pepper chicken wings, one of my favorite dishes growing up. It was always this addictive treat that my dad would get me whenever we went to Chinatown or bring home from the restaurant. I've never made this before, so my dad's gonna walk me through it, and then my family's gonna grade me on how I did. So, kinda nervous. Let's see how it goes. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform I've been using for years to build online businesses. More on that later, but to start, my dad's gonna show me how to prepare the chicken wings. We're gonna wash the chicken first. With clean water, we're gonna wash and squeeze the wings. My dad often uses water to rinse out any excess myoglobin in meat to get a more tender final product. Lean are bigger wings or smaller wings better? Now my dad will show us a trick to help the wings cook all the way through. Rather than holding it like this, it'll be easier and safer to set the wings on the cutting board when doing this step, like my dad does here. For the drumettes, we'll pierce them twice with a small knife, once on each side, into the thickest part of the meat. For safety, we also recommend doing this step with a chicken on the cutting board and not like my dad here. It's also important to keep a firm grip on the knife during this step. Notice how my dad grips the knife further up the handle and keeps his index finger on the side of the blade to guide it. As an example of what not to do, here's me doing the same step. You should not hold your knife like this ever. And especially if you're a beginner, do not do this while holding the drumette in the air. Or you could hurt yourself like I almost did here. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Make sure to also have the sharp side of the knife facing away from the hand holding the chicken like my dad is doing here. Next, we'll create our marinade. Oh my gosh. Go! Oh, okay, got it. In a large bowl, we'll add a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of white pepper powder, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and one tablespoon of cooking wine. All right. Mm -hmm. Then mix together. In we go. We'll put all the chicken into the bowl, then mix into the marinade. As you mix with your hands, squeeze the chicken so that the marinade actually seeps into the meat. Once the chicken is marinated, it's time to cut up some ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Shade. Now we'll chop up some shallots. Next up, garlic. Okay. Okay. Now peel. We'll peel and mince the garlic. You can hear like the SpongeBob. Three hours later. We'll cut the chilies into small pieces. Now the sweet peppers. Okay. 
We'll first cut off all the stems, then cut in half lengthwise. My dad first cuts them into strips, then rotates the chop into small pieces. Now let's prepare a simple dry seasoning. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. With our seasoning mix, we'll prepare to coat the chicken. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. That's more than a tablespoon. Undercompensate. Okay. Some will tong ji. Mean fun. Okay. You, you got all these. Okay. It's like very generous tablespoons. Okay. Since I added too much flour, I added a bit more cornstarch since we want equal parts of each here. Then we'll mix to incorporate them. What's he eating? Being amazing. You can also mix with a fork like my dad here. Now we're ready to coat our wings. First, we'll coat the wings in the starch flour with one hand, which will be our wet hand. Once coated, use the other hand, our dry hand, to squeeze the chicken so the coating sticks firmly. I got a D on my cutting skills. <laughs> I, think we, I think we all know. <laughs> There's room for improvement. Hi, Maya. Hi, yeah. You want to learn how to do this one day? Oh, oh you squeeze it into there. Yeah. You gotta get it crispy, man. I feel like that's a problem with a lot of them. Yeah. Maya. Hi, Dad. Hi, cutie pie. This is B. Plus. I got it. Can you use other cuts of chicken? Chicken wings are one of America's favorite foods of all time, and a popular and delicious way of preparing them is by frying them. If you're not familiar with the origins of fried chicken as a dish, check out our friend Andong's in-depth video of its history. Surprisingly, the popularity of chicken wings in particular is relatively recent, with many overlooking the cut due to its lack of meat or needing to eat around the bones. However, chicken wings feature some of the most tender and flavorful dark meat on the chicken with the added benefit of being the perfect size for easy cooking. Today, our salt and pepper wings, or tu yim gaiyik in Cantonese, feature the ever-popular Chinese salt and pepper seasoning, which in my opinion works well with almost any kind of protein, such as pork, squid, or tofu. With the wings all coated, we're ready to break out our stove and pot to fry them. We'll turn the heat to high and pour the oil into the pot. Okay. Let us see how hot this is. Yeah, Loa from Patreon asked, How do you fry the chicken wings but not too oily? When the oil reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, we can put in the drumettes since they'll take longer to cook. Okay. 
If you don't have a thermometer, you can use my dad's method of seeing if the oil is hot enough. He drops a small piece of a wet vegetable, like onion or pepper, into the oil. When the piece starts to float and bubbles are coming up all around it, the oil is ready for frying. So now it's going about to go Turning down heat. Don't fall off. For this first fry, we'll try to keep our oil temperature at around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, look at that. After about five minutes of frying, or when the drum mats are floating and have turned golden brown, we'll take them out. Then we'll put in the wings. Wait, 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 wait. After just two minutes of frying the wings, we can take them out. When the chicken is out, we'll heat the oil on high up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we can put the drumettes back into the oil for a second fry. Ooh. A lot of people ask, how do you get Hello. the perfect crispiness without overcooking it or undercooking it? After frying the germets for about 30 seconds, we'll add in the wings too. Do you do anything special to make sure this chicken is really juicy? After another 30 seconds, we'll remove the genetics. Then we'll turn off the stove and take out the wings also. What do you do with the leftover oil? Do you have to like filter it or what does it do? Now we'll replace our pot with a wok and put all the pieces together in a stir fry. We'll add two tablespoons of the oil we just used to the wok. We'll add the garlic, then the shallots. We'll also add half of the green onions and chilies. When everything is fragrant or after about 30 to 40 seconds, we can add the sweet peppers. After stir frying for another 30 to 40 seconds, we can add all of our chicken.
How do you get it extra crispy? So I'm thinking, 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 I'm that's what I do for leftover fried chicken. I just air fry it for a few minutes at 400 degrees. Once the chicken and aromatics are all mixed, or after about 30 seconds, we'll turn the heat to low and add our seasoning. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 When you're adding the seasoning, make sure to continue stirring the chicken with the spatula from the bottom as you add a bit of seasoning at a time, which is something my dad does better here. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. When the seasoning is evenly coated, we can turn off the heat and plate. Now let's see how my family grades me. All right. So, dad's is on the left. Right. We'll eat dad's first. Okay. That's the 100 out of 100. Okay. Eat daddy's first, right? Mm. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Delicious. Oh, good. Hati, always healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong with this at a party. <laughs> okay, you're gonna taste mine. Mmm. Good job, Randy. Mmm. About the same. Yeah. Really oh. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you're gonna grade me. Okay. Out of 100? Out of 100. Ready? Randy's grade in 3, 2, 1. Bye bye. Bye bye. Cat gave me 95. Mom gave me 99. Dad gave me 95. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your, when I, you were making it, it wasn't as beautiful. Not as uh, consistent all the way around crunchy. Yeah. But it tasted great. I give you 99, yeah. that means like uh, including your effort point. Daddy's, their taste is more evenly. Your taste is more kind of spot. Daddy's uh, crispy outlay almost covered the whole thing, but you have some empty spot. <laughs> Thanks, mom. You deserve it. Thanks, Maya. Yeah. Yeah. As I mentioned, I'm really excited that Squarespace is sponsoring this video because before Made With Lao, I spent 10 years building and consulting online businesses. Of all the website platforms, Squarespace is by far the easiest to use. Right out of the gate, it offers the most beautiful designs that actually convert customers. True story, in 2019, I was consulting my wedding venue on how to increase their revenue. Part of the strategy involved completely redesigning their website with Squarespace, leading to a 10x increase in inquiries and bookings compared to their old website. Squarespace started out as a website builder, but it's evolved into a full suite of tools to help you run a variety of businesses, like an e-commerce solution to manage your own store, Squarespace scheduling where clients can book appointments with you, member areas to sell your own course, and built-in SEO to help your content get more organic reach. You can visit squarespace.com to play around on a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash made with Lao to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Cheers! Look over there. Basketball. 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 YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. <laughs> 